You're listening to Mana for the Day. Good morning and welcome po sa ating Mana for the Day. Ang ating scripture for today is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 to 11. Let's read it together. Therefore, in order to keep me from becoming conceited, I was given a thorn in my flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me. Three times I pleaded with the Lord to take it away from me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Kadalasan tayo mga Kristiyano, habang tayo ay nagmamature sa ating pananampalataya, nakaka-experience tayo ng mga pagpapala or paglago ng ating spiritual na pagkatao. Dahil tayo pa rin ay nasa katawang lupa, minsan ito ay nakakaabot sa ating ulo or kumbaga sa English, it gets to our head. At tayo po ay nagiging mayabang. Ang Apostol Pablo, sa kanyang sinula dito sa 2 Corinthians, ay sinasabi niyang marami siyang pwedeng ipagmayabang dahil sa kanyang mga experience At nagkwento po siya ng iba, ibang mananampalataya na mas mataas pa ang mga naranasan, kumbaga, sa kanilang spiritual na, na journey. Samantalang sinasabi rin niya na para siya ay mapanatiling ang mababang loob ay hinayaan ng Panginoon na manatili sa kanyang buhay ang isang thorn in his flesh. Isang bagay na magbibigay sa kanya ng paalala na kailangan niyang maging dependent sa Panginoon at every moment of his life. Sabi dito sa scripture, three times he pleaded with the Lord to take it away from him. Ibig sabihin, seryoso niyang idinulog sa Panginoon kung pwedeng tanggalin itong ang paghihirap o itong struggle o itong trial na ito sa kanyang buhay bagkos ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya ay My grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness. Ang salitang sufficient dito ay hango sa Grego na arkeo na ibig sabihin malakas, matibay at sapat. Ang sinasabi niya ang grasya ng Panginoon Hindi lang siya malakas, pero siya ay sapat para tayo ay panatilihing nakatindig sa gitna ng pagsubok o paghihirap. At sabi pa dito, my power is made perfect in weakness. Ang salitang perfect dito ay katulad ng salitang ibinigkas ni Jesus sa krus ng Kalbaryo na sinabi niyang tetelestai. Ang sabi naman dito, it is teletai. It is perfect, it is complete. Nakapag tayo ay nakadepende sa grasya ng Panginoon, ang kanyang kapangyarihan ay buo at wagas at nagaganap sa ating buhay. Kaya nga sabi ni Apostle Paul, Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses. Bakit? So that Christ's power may rest in me. Sabi nga ni J.D. Greer, What if dependence is more important than strength? Then if dependence is the objective, then weakness is an advantage. Parang ang paradox ang tinuturo dito, no? or isang balintunay, kung saan sinasabing, kung kailan tayo ay mahina, doon tayo pinakamalakas. Dahil kung kailan tayo mahina, doon tayo nakakapag-surrender ng ating buong sarili sa Panginoon, at doon nagiging ganap at wagas ang kanyang kapangyarihan sa atin. So that we too may say that we will take delight in our weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when we are weak, then we are strong. Sabi ng missionary si Hudson Taylor, God wants you to have something far better than riches and gold, and that is helpless dependence on Him, on God, on Jesus. So mga kapatid, in our weaknesses, let us surrender or allow our emptiness to be filled and sustained by God's grace and His power. 
He must become greater nga. Sabi sa John 3.30 And we must become less. Bless the Lord for the reading of His Word. Have a nice day. And that was our mana for the day. Subscribe and follow our social media accounts for more content and be updated with Marine Christian Fellowship.